Have you seen this? Yes, it's amazing. Just <laughs> my It's so good. <laughs> Activist Electric Baby. This is a protest sign and banner um, in 2007. Uh, and they're actually used in, in marches. They're, they're touched and they're passed around. And they're uh, dragging them around and brought back to their studio to be repaired and then placed and hung in a gallery or museum. This one was used during a women's march. Like classified homosexuals in the concentration camps in the Holocaust. And then it was like readapted as this like symbol of liberation, especially by ACT UP, but it stays like very controversial as to like how people feel about that. Yeah. These portraits are by David Antonio Cruz, who's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So it, it, it is uh, portraits of people, or uh, queer and trans people of color who were murdered between 2016 and 17, which there was a uh, increase of murders during this time. Uh, there's another one here with a pink background. Uh, while when the show opened, I guess it was during the opening of the show, uh, their murderer was um, sentenced to life in prison. It's kind of being really poignant, being very present, and something that we're thinking about now, and people that we need to remember. Uh, and kind of, I think it's cool the artist chooses to kind of bring them to life through this divinity and through these portraits. Mm -hmm. One, the, the, the history behind it um, to really kind of shock. So it was, it originates uh, because of the intersection of both being black and and kind of that, what that reality looks like. But it can also be, you know, I guess now it's going in a few different ways. You can think about whether it is actual identity that you possess and how it intersects with you personally, but also how you intersect with other people. I think it's just a pretty cool concept to meditate on. This piece is called The Beast, My Heavenly Brown Body by Mark Aguilar from 2011. And the text here comes from posts used for uplifting, praying for, and helping from Mark Aguilar. Uh, my work is about visibility. I don't really know what to do with the identity in this world. It's that thing where you grow up learning to hate every aspect of yourself and unlearning all that misery is really hard to do. It's a thing where you kind of regret everything you've ever done because it's so complicit with white um, homogeny. Something that he does often are these sensitive, intimate portraits of black bodies. And there's a really cool technique that he has, whether it's both the cameras that he uses, but it's this um, really intense like, clarity and heightened attention to detail uh, that gives kind of this um, what has historically been viewed has not been given kind of like, equal platform as other bodies, the white bodies, uh, kind of giving it this pristine, um, you know, lifting it up or viewing it in another way. And I thought this was kind of cool. It's a quote from the curator, also reverberating the artist's own weird gaze onto the artworks. So these are actual homes where people can live and be together and take care of one another. So that was kind of cool, especially in this room when it talks about care networks and how uh, that's kind of the backbone of different marginalized groups in particular. And I love I love to be careful and always say minoritized, right? By saying minority, it's putting the onus back on the group, which is not the case. Uh, minoritized due to systemic issues. This is by Mohamed Fayez uh, for Poppy Juice, the Poppy Juice Collective, which is a kind of roving uh, art uh, collective for queer and trans people of color in particular, and their friends, families, and allies. I took a really cool class on contemporary art since 1980 last semester. Um, so specifically focusing on a lot of LGBT artists and artists making art related to AIDS activism. And so I think because of the people I'm surrounded with and the classes I've taken, it's like very easy for me to forget that this isn't something that's widely talked about and viewed. And um, being here and like seeing people interacting with it like for the first time and seeing these artists that I've like like haven't seen before. Um, it's like easy to forget that this hasn't always been like the way things were, but it really hasn't. The first time I ever met gay people was in college. 
in the late 80s and, and I absolutely fell in love with a gay man and I, he did a lot of AIDS related volunteer work and I gave him a black and white photograph of the silence equals death triangle and I colored it in um, with red paint. It was a black and white photo and I colored the triangle in with red paint. And um, I, that, so that symbol brings that memory back for me and I, I just remember that being a very powerful thing. And Yeah, this one's my favorite piece of the exhibit. It is kind of recasting history to show uh, femme women of color at the forefront. And I love the colors, I love the diversity of the different bodies and their facial expression. I think it's such a beautiful piece. I love the message and I, and I love it aesthetically. Get that mind up, I'm gone. That comes repertoire.